I have to pass along these videos. Navy sonar blasts, whales and dolphins urgent. The ultimate war that is being waged now is the greatest war of all time. Man against the nature, against the light. This video, Sonar Victims USA. <laughs> up in the shore as, are a sense kind of the martyrs that are they're the martyrs that are basically letting us know something's wrong it's a new technology it's an enormously loud technology unlike anything that we've ever seen before um, and it poses unique risks to the ocean ecosystem <laughs> Canary Islands. I don't want to say anything is expendable, but uh, in, in the course of doing the operations, some of those some of those mammals could get hurt. There's no question about that. Okay. Well, you know what? I have a real problem with that. I have a real problem with these friggin' war games with that kind of mentality. I am so sick of war of military people. Who have that mentality I am so sick of death and destruction having lived it my entire life and the only way that this could possibly get stopped our only hope of ever ever stopping all of this is if the people of the world just wake up to what is happening and care about what is happening because you know those of us who who do care we see these things and we're just we've got the visceral we, we, we get a visceral response we feel the, the suffering of these animals but on a really kind of basic minute hardly any of the suffering that's going on but we know it, we sense it, we can't stand it, and it just goes on and on. U.S. military sonar exercises still threatening sea mammals. Magnificent magnificent beings magnificent life right there unbelievable majestic i mean it's says, thanks to an international ban on most whaling the gray whales of laguna san ignacio in baja mexico are living proof that when left alone by man whales can make a comeback from near extinction left alone by man yeah I mean, if anybody is, if you're not touched by that incredible beauty. It was 150 years ago here in Laguna San Ignacio when the slaughter of an estimated 18,000 gray whales was said to turn the quiet waters around the lagoon blood red. The American whaler leading the assault, Charles Scammon, left behind personal sketches of his men shooting and harpooning the whales, melting down their blubber for oil lamps. Oh, God. The well, the are particularly effective during the Cold War to track the quiet movements of the Soviet Union's behemoth Typhoon class submarines. Sonar say environmentalists today that causes fatal mass strandings of frightened and disoriented whales and other marine mammals around the globe. Those most vulnerable are beaked whales that look like large dolphins. Sonar disrupting their reliance on echolocation to hunt prey and find mates. Oh, God. Okay. Um, I will link below to everything. Sorry, this is the same video that I had uh, started it with, but yeah, RT News, here Enjoy it is. With sound. When the U.S. Navy blasts marine habitats with high-frequency sonar during training, mammals like dolphins and whales, which use sonar to navigate, are caught off guard. 
This is what can result. They're beached, many of them with painfully burst auditory canals. But that's just evidence on the surface. The Natural Resources Defense Council has taken the National Marine Fisheries Service to federal court for granting the Navy permission to train off the coast of California in this manner until 2018. The NRDC claims that the Fisheries Service violated the law by failing to properly assess what impact the known harming will have on the 60-plus marine mammal populations affected by the Navy's activities. Okay, did you hear that? The Navy conducting exercises until 2018. First of all, they never stop, but 2018. And I just posted a video about all of the shark die-offs, sea life die-offs, on the Pacific, where the Navy is conducting our exercises, and you're going to tell me that these experts don't know what is happening when they, when they come out and say, hmm, these sharks, wow, they have internal bleeding. And this kind of, this kind of frequency, well, you just heard it. It blasts their auditory systems. They bleed. Internal bleeding. And you know what? Some idiot is going to leave a comment that says RT is disinformation. The links are below. But, but there's so much information out there how military exercises are killing millions of sea creatures every year, every year, every year, interviews with people here, U.S. Navy destroying dolphins and whales. This has been going on forever. And I, for one, am getting so sick of those Americans who just will not take a look at what is happening with our psychopathic military and yeah they're secondary psychopaths who are causing so much suffering how do they just go on not care live their own little lives i don't know i don't know the links are below i hope that you get this information out there i really do i mean <laughs> Chief asks the military to stop using sonar. Oh, my relative, my name is uh, Chief a Golden Light Eagle. And this name was given to me by a little girl, a little spirit girl, about four years old. And she had a little flower named Lily. And uh, my, grand, my uh, uncle, his name was Wallace Blackout, performed a ceremony to introduce it to the people in my grandson uh, made it known uh, through ceremony on our land. So with that, um, I want to share a little bit about how I'm feeling about certain things and the way I was taught and the way our, our spiritual grandfathers and grandmothers have shared. Now, there they told us that the four directions or the four races of man were given spiritual gifts. And these gifts were responsibilities, sacred responsibilities to protect the earth, the fire, the wind, the water. So the, the gifts were abused. The gifts of the fire were abused and they split this atom and they created this big fire which destroyed a lot of People, you could say a lot of, it disintegrated and it, and it fractured the soul of, of man. So that fracture of the atom, it, it takes millions, sometimes millions of years to repair. So that was a very, a, a, a big abuse of the fire. And there's many other abuses that have happened, as you know, throughout the land. So our people need to get together. All four races have to come back and start protecting what we have and start talking about what is being abused so that somebody out there that has the knowledge, the gift to create a movement that will stop this very thing that's abusive to 
a lot of our brothers and sisters, whether it's in the ocean, in the air, or the, or the land, or underground. So there, there's an abuse of air, of sound, of sound waves. And this abuse is taking its, uh, its moments in the water, and it's creating a lot of uh, problems with our relatives of the dolphin nations and that of the whale people. So, and there's many others that have this gift uh, that helps them to guide themselves through and back and forth on migrational routes to bear their children and, and all this. So this sound is being abused and it's coming from uh, our the areas of, you could say, the, the, our own forces. And I know that our armed forces, the military, the Air Navy, Air Force, Army, the Marines, all this, they're designed to protect the people, the people. But they also need to be designed and to protect the a animals the birds and those that swim and crawl, those that fly, that are four legs. So we know that this isn't doing well for the dolphins and the whales. So I urge you to think about what you're doing with the, the gift of sound, of, of sacred sound, because there's many beautiful ways that we could use sound. There's many ways to keep ourselves balanced through the gift of sound. But when it's hurting our relatives in the oceans, then we have to stop. We have to stop. And I urge and I and I ask to uh, those that are doing this to stop because there's a karmic pattern that's going to follow you. That's going to follow you. It's it's uh, natural. You create your own karma by your action, and because you could say yes and you could say no, and that comes from the heart. You need to make decisions from your heart. So please stop. And he also has a video asking the government to stop spraying chemtrails. You know, as I was listening to him, I know, I know a lot of Americans who are so immature that they would laugh at what he was saying. They would laugh. We are a lost people. Collectively speaking, we are such a lost, lost people. Disconnected from ourselves, disconnected from nature. And somehow, This has to be healed. Unfortunately, that means that the individual has to do work to heal their own heart, their own mind, their own soul. And I don't see a majority of Americans engaging in that process. Yes, it is the American people who are destroying life itself through their willful ignorance, their silence, their consent, their refusal to do any work at all to try to make this world a better place. Please get this information out. Yeah, it's up to us to do all we can to try to help not only the two-legged, but the four-legged. And yeah, I do have a sense. I have, I don't know where I got it, but I absolutely do feel like I have a responsibility towards all life and 
that I feel a connection to all life. And that's why it hurts when I see videos of dolphins and whales and sharks and whatever life is stranded, dying, a painful death on the beach. I suppose it's why I, I put the honey out for the bee that's struggling on the windowsill. Why I can't turn away from an animal that I see needs rescuing. I don't know where it comes from. I just don't understand. What, what has caused it to disappear in so many people?